So Trisha, we know that finding a job is a full-time job. It might take three months, six months, who knows, or it can fa easily find your ideal job. But during those times, it gets frustration, like getting rejection, doing an interview, preparing your resume, you're uploading yeah. and there's silence or there's nothing. So what tips do you have or what tips do you give to your client in terms of staying positive during these frustrated times? Yes. Perfect question. So valid. Um, and the reality of it is, yes, it does get tedious. It can mm -hmm. get frustrating. It can wear you down. Yeah. There is no reason why you can't give yourself that grace to take a second and say, okay, I am really feeling it. I'm going to step away from this for a couple of days. You know, yeah. you, you understand what your cadence is around applying for jobs and what that looks like, but you can, you know, give yourself a couple of days, take a step back, allow yourself to, you know, recharge, recoup, so that you regain that that energy, that's going to be the number one thing that I would recommend is so that you don't continuously just con beat yourself yeah. down. Um, the other thing that I would recommend is if you have been on a career journey, you're applying for jobs and, you know, you're getting those rejections is when after you've taken that little pause, come back to the table and say, OK, you know, is my resume communicating the things that I want it to, yeah. are they making a connection to the types mm -hmm. of roles uh, that I'm interested in? And more importantly, the leveling of the roles yes. that you're interested in, because, you know, if you look across industry, you look across different companies, mm -hmm. leveling is different. You may be a senior manager at one company, but going somewhere else, that may be a different title. So being right. able to understand the job descriptions, whether that is through, you know, connecting with recruiters, connecting with folks that work at that particular company to get a better sense and understanding of, hey, is this the right level for me? Yeah. It also help support, you know, uh, your overall interview job search yeah. process. Yeah. And I cannot speak enough about networking. It yeah. is so key. Um, networking is something we should always be doing, not just in that time period yeah. where you're like, I need a job, uh, but making connections, building your network, utilizing LinkedIn mm -hmm. is something that you should be doing all the time because yeah. you never know when you might find yourself in a situation where, yeah. hey, I need to shoulder tap someone or, hey, I see that you're connected with so and so. Would you mind making a warm introduction or even just, you know, reaching out? blind. I have a couple of resources on my website for templates on how you reach out to someone that you maybe you don't know or don't have a connection to yeah. on LinkedIn. All of those things, you know, combined with a little bit of consistency yeah. are, are going to help you along the way. Those are great tips. What I tell my clients that have a schedule, have an Excel sheet or piece of paper, Monday mornings networking. In the afternoon, maybe I'm uh, commenting on people's uh, content on LinkedIn. Yeah. Tuesday morning, I'm taking off. I'm going out. I'm going for a gym. In the afternoon, I do info session. Maybe yeah. Wednesday, I take the whole day off. Yeah. Thursday, I come back. And then that's how, and even small wins. You sent a resume. You got the phone call. Uh, even small things you need to celebrate. And as you mentioned, uh, if you get a rejection, maybe reflect or ask the recruiter, can you give me feedback? How do I can improve myself so that you can learn and get better? Yeah, yeah. Some some recruiters, they're not going to share a ton with you, but sometimes you may get that recruiter that will give you, you know, high level feedback that you can take and say, okay, this is how I would rephrase this. Or mm -hmm. I actually have a lot more experience in that space. How can I communicate that more yeah. effectively? Yeah. Those are great tips. Thank you, Trisha. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Trisha.